What a night it has been. So much entertainment on that hockey, and we're not finished yet. Two of the big lads will now take on each other in the penultimate match of the night. Big, bad Boris against Jackpot. And the winner of this one is going to take on Kim Hybrex, who has just eliminated MVG. But without further ado, let's talk to Dan Dawson, because you had the opportunity to talk to Kim upon him eventually leaving the stage. And he cleared up a bit of a matter about why he went for single 20s or double top in the last leg. Well, look, you, you guys called it. You thought you said he was trying to work something out, and it turns out he was. He felt he was going low on the treble 20 consistently and so he wanted to free up his arm and so he thought well look I've lost the leg I can't win this one I'm just gonna throw it tops make sure I get that arm moving properly don't tighten up so that when it gets to the last leg decider I've got more chance the hitting the treble 20. First. Game on. Little did Kim know that that practice at double top which he didn't actually hit with any of those practice darts it has to be said but it did come in handy when he hit it twice to win the match with a 134 checkout. Absolutely ridiculous stuff. Weird leg. Cool ending. Michael doesn't think so. But as we know, good darts is better than bad darts, but funny darts is better than a lot. And that certainly was amusing. It was good and funny. Mm. It's an interesting battle here for Adrian, who was seeded 16 in this tournament via withdrawals. He has been bumped up. But when it comes to Adrian's season, he's obviously got a win quite recently. But as far as the European Championship is concerned, it all comes down to this. Because he's got £8,000 on his rankings in this particular order of merit. But he's not going to sunny Gibraltar in three weeks, is he? He's not. So if he doesn't make here here 52. by making the final or winning his first European Tour event in 10 years, he's not going to the Euros, which he has won before. Yes. And he's missed out on it before. Boris Kritschmar is a man who is tantalizingly one win outside of the provisional places. Whoa! And he's not going to Jim either. He isn't, so it's all or nothing for Big Boris. He's going to go to double 18 to hold his throw. He does not trouble it. Adrian Lewis has the same target with two more darts in his hand. Is that decisive? It is. 1-0 jackpot. Adrian Lewis. And a break it through as well. This place has gone... Game off. Flat as a pancake for now. Absolutely Which... shattered, I think, after the last <laughs> ten legs. I'm not surprised. Well, maybe that's a good thing for these players. They can just get down to business without any sort of bravado from some highly lubricated fans. But all in all, these fans have been amazing. Been a great crowd today. Sell out all day. They've had a blast. And they're all jubilant because... Some of them are probably coming back tomorrow to watch Kim again against whoever wins this. Right now, Adrian Lewis is putting himself in a very decent position. And while he has re-entered the winner's circle in PDC Darts this year, Adrian Lewis, picking up that title on the Pro Tour leading up to the match play, we haven't seen him do a great deal since. Yeah, he was scheduled to be in European Tour action, but withdrew earlier this month as to why I don't know none of my business but one thing I do want to get to the bottom of in the next leg is the introduction of Boris Crutchmer we'll come back to that in a few short moments it could well be when Adrian is 2-0 up 95 that'll do towers above everybody in the practice room at least he does tonight anyway very intimidating presence but Adrian's not intimidated as he takes a 2-0 lead now Dan come on we've got to get to the bottom of this when Philip Brzezinski was introducing Boris Kutchma he said Boris Kutchma has won 
more than 400 soft tip titles. We don't know for sure. Is that tr that must be true if he said it? 400? Well, 60. It's possible. I mean, when he, he won his first round game against Cameron Menzies yesterday, and I said to him, "Look, you're taking on, you know, a real icon of the game, two-time world champion, former European champion, Adrian Lewis," and he said, "Well, yeah, I'm an eight-time soft tip world champion." In fact, that eight is more than two, and he is factually correct. Can't fault him on that. So he's not he's not phased by it. I mean, look, were you going to be phased by anything? I mean, look at him. There's not many people who make Adrian Lewis look normal. Normally, Adrian Lewis is the absolute unit up on that stage, but Boris still towers over him. And you know something as well. We can't oversell 97. the importance of Boris Kritschmer from Croatia because that is an area of the world that we really need to find more of him. I know he's the glowing superstar of darts in that area of the world, but there are more. There are more in Serbia. There are more in Slovenia. There are great players in that area. We just have to entice them into the elite. Well, it's good to have a figurehead. And I think Boris is that. Bullseye wants. And these soft hit players day. love a bullseye. Boris Kritschmar with a 15 darter to get on the board. Well, look, Boris is. He's just turned, actually, 43. Well, Good age, that. Great age. Let's say he's been playing darts 20 years at a competitive level. If he's won more than 400 titles, 123. He's winning what? He's winning a title every fortnight. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> every two weeks he's winning a title. 60. On top of his steel tip career. Yeah. That's amazing. I, I so badly want it to be true. I mean, you, you don't know what these titles are. I mean, Jose, when. I think the year before we moved to the PDC, and he was playing. He said that I was playing a tournament every single. I was playing a tournament five times a week. Right. Now, Joe say even in soft tip, you can play people all over the world. Are you counting them? Look, the way I see it, if Boris Kritschmar comes up to me and says I've won 400 titles, you've won 400 titles, Boris. I'm not arguing with it. What he is doing is playing brilliantly at steel tip these days. Over the course of a season, playing 67 matches, he's averaging just over 93, which is very good. He's not averaging as much as Adrian, who's about a point ahead of him. But he has made strides. He's starting to get to the thick end of these tournaments on a more regular basis. But he should be 3-1 down. Beautiful dart from Jackpot. Adrian Lewis. Like I've got a question for you about Adrian, actually, Dan. And I've spent a bit of time with Adrian in Scotland this year, which was a real treat. But do you think Adrian is enjoying being under the radar right now? Because we've been talking about Michael and Peter and, and Gerwin Price for a long time now, but Adrian's not really getting much in the way of column inches at the minute. He's not really at the tip of everybody's tongue. Do you think he'll enjoy that? Or do you think... He's going to be irked by the fact that he's not getting the headlines. Well, I think it takes a bit of the pressure off him, but the thing is with the pedigree that he's got and the impact that he's had on the game and his place in world darts, you know, Phil Taylor's protégé who then became 100. the back-to-back -back world champion and was supposed to be the guy knocking heads with Michael Van Gerwen for years and years and years. It didn't quite pan out like that. It's, it did for a while, but it's certainly not over the last few years. 100. Now, it does take the pressure off him a little bit. Tell you what, he's still making a living out of the game, but the, you, you, I don't think you get, even Adrian, with this incredible natural talent and being a, a player who's, who's always seemed very easygoing. You know, everybody loves Adrian Lewis. But I still think you need that steel, that hunger, that desire. A, an all, not a nasty side, but that real drive to be the best if you're going to become a two-time world champion and I'm not sure that leaves you does it? So it must irk him a little bit not to be in the discussion he wants to be at the top of the game, of course he does 
stay in that region doesn't glance it over the top for a shot at the Shanghai and Lewis has been excellent on tops overall in this match he's 50% on doubles and he stays at 50% with an average that is very good indeed 105 it's not like Boris is languishing so far back but he is in the leg count with an average himself in three figures. Well, look, he's winning legs. 15, two 14s 16. and a 13. It, we're not seeing the flashy explosive 12 and 11 darters, but what we are seeing from Adrian Lewis is a very, very impressive display here. And after the drama and the noise and the cacophony of the previous game, it's all gone a bit quiet here in the October, Hallen. But Adrian Lewis is doing something very, very impressive right now. He could put in the best performance of the week so far. But I go back to what I said earlier. I really do think that the crowd just nullifying themselves a little bit because of what happened in the previous match is helping these guys to just play darts. Well, certainly helping Adrian Lewis right now. And Kim Hybrex. 134. If he came here thinking that Michael Van Gogh would be his toughest encounter of the weekend. If Adrian wins this and carries on playing like this tomorrow, he's got an even tougher game on his hands. Because this is superb I tell you who's a fan of Adrian Lewis right now is Ross Smith. He's going to have to wait until tomorrow to bank his spot in the World Grand Prix. If Kruchma goes out, the only person who can knock him out is Niels Zonnefeld. Right, to be honest, even though he lost today, I'd say that Ross Smith has been the best player of the weekend so far. It's between him and Gilding for me. But right, Adrian Lewis, our first look Adrian, at him. This is excellent. Ooh, worst start he's thrown all game. 24. Doesn't tidy it up, but Fritschmar not even down to a finish. He's only been allowed two darts at double in the whole game, Boris. It means nothing tonight, though. Fritschmar could win this leg easy. 140. You require eight. Not sure Lightning's going to strike twice. Game it doesn't. 5-1. The average comes Seven down a bit, but this is just the epitome the of how you expect to play it. Now, you're not going to average 102 all the time, but what you expect from yourself at this level is to continually be around that 15 dart mark. And that's exactly what he's doing. If he beats Kretschmer, he stays in the race for the Euros. He stays in the tournament. I think sometimes we get past the fact that we're just playing a dart tournament and they want to get titles but Kruchmer would be out of the Euros which would be very unfortunate but that would be really good news for the likes of James Wade and Christoph Ritaisky who are hanging on to their spots by the skin of their fingernails 77 well, Adrian Lewis in the five legs he's won in this game he has been on a double after 12 darts. The question is, how many darts did it take him to hit it? If he just does that all weekend, he's going to have a great chance of winning the title. And he could well be on a double again after four visits to the board because that is a lovely setup. In fact, he could produce the best leg of the match here and win it in four visits. Four's the number because that's how many 180s he's had. 50. This has been composed, measured, rhythmic, and brilliant. Matched up. 74. Obviously require 170. Just to stay in the match. He's not going to join the 170 club that has one person 90. in it. Dave Chisnell from earlier. And Adrian Lewis joins Sunday. He can, and that is a superb display by Adrian Lewis. Absolutely fantastic. 103 average from the two-time world champion who takes out big Boris Kritschmar, whose 97 average was made to look utterly, utterly harmless.
majestic stuff from Jackpot, who will face Kim Hybrex for a place in the quarterfinals here in Belgium. We've got one more spot available in the last 16. It'll go to either the Dutch number two, Danny Noppert, or the Latvian number one, Madders Rasma.